husband. Oh, did he pass? Worse. He's carrying on with another woman. In there. I wanted his wedding anniversary. Don't we look happy? Is he a patient? Yes. Didn't take him long. Or her. A slut. Would it help to know it's the disease? Really? Doesn't seem to have affected his penis any. <laughs> <laughs> Hearing's supposed to be the last to go, but I'm, I'm sorry, I don't mean to minimize he's what He's doing you're... with her what he stopped doing with. I just, I want to. Shake her? Shake him? Both. You're new at this. He's been here. Less than a month. I've been taking care of him at home, so I just couldn't anymore. His son insisted. Sounds like you've got a good son who, who cares about you and your husband. Yes. Are you a doctor? Uh, no, my my wife's a patient here. <laughs> oh. But she keeps her hands to herself. <laughs> she uh. She used to be quite the lady. Pearls, gloves, quoted from Emily Post. Used to be? She's a change. We were high school sweethearts. Now he doesn't even recognize me None most. that hurts. Easy to say, unless you've been in- We were sitting on the same bench. I thought he would be safe here. My my wife used to walk down the street in the middle of the night, not, not always in her pajamas. She, she, she can't do that now, and I'm, I'm grateful for it. Well, security is one thing, but I expect more than that. I blame the staff for all this carrying on. What do you want them to do? Break it up. Have them act like civilized adults. The staff are caring, well-trained, conscientious. People, including old people, need affection. <clears throat> It's as simple as that. If they try to control the situation, the old farts would be back at it when the staff are out of sight. They're very tolerant. I can't bear to look at them without just... Well, it takes time to put things in perspective. How long? Exactly. My wife's been here two years, was at home two before that. Been a humbling experience. You sound like a minister. <laughs> Not even close. Social worker, then. <laughs> Retired salesman. All the salesmen I know are very competitive, but not when it comes to your wife. I, well, I she's not herself. If she were mentally alert and able-bodied, I'd act differently. Like me. Just <coughs> spouse. Uh, possibly. Enough about me. You look like a teacher. Retired accountant. When things get out of balance, we... I get a little crazy. Scratch that a lot, crazy. You visit him every day? Yes. You need to take care of yourself, too. Take a break now and then. The staff, well, it, it's what they do, and they, they do it well most of the time. I felt so guilty bringing him here. And now I am so angry with him, I can't even see straight. For years, my wife had reason to be angry with me. She was above average, and I was a below average husband. Now it's payback time. My husband is, was above average. And faithful? Yes, I believe so. And you? None of you. <laughs> there are no secrets or pretense here. Among the patients, the rest of us might not want to be so, so. Transparent? Honest, like you've been just now? An exception. <sighs> What's your name? Ed, yours? Florence. Love to my friends. The atmosphere here is very infectious. I, I don't mind telling you my wife's on her third boyfriend. <laughs> Nancy looks so happy when the two 
two of them are together. She, she hasn't smiled this much since our daughter got married. Nancy. Nancy Ferris. That's right, and Howard's your... Yes. Nancy's alive, and she still cares. A, a beautiful thing. Not to me. Understandable. Got easier after boyfriend number one died. Okay. <laughs> Did you put poison in his oatmeal? <laughs> he died in his sleep with a smile on his face. <laughs> you are light years ahead of me. Well, the fortunate thing about short-term memory loss, Nancy didn't grieve like you or I might. In a short time, she moved on to man number two. It was, it was a blessing. She knew something was missing, and she acted on it. I doubt I will ever look at this situation the same as you. Yeah. You need a distraction. I read the comics. Okay. And I toss them in the recycling bin, unread. Maybe it's time to reconsider. Nancy likes your husband best. <laughs> Me too. She has good taste. And, and you've got your memories. Uh, above average, you said. I was counting on the future together. Me three. What's in the box? Cupcakes. Howard's favorite. Chocolate with white icing. Today is his birthday. It's good of you, but he, he won't remember. It helps me to try to keep things as normal as possible for as long as I, I can. I understand. Are you going in now? My son and granddaughter will be here in a few minutes. I can't let him see his father carry on. Life in the corner of that room. He's an adult. <laughs> My granddaughter is five. She loves her papa. Help me, won't you? I can, I can break it up, but it, it won't be pretty. Nancy's taken to screaming. Please, you've been a good example to me, but. I'm not there yet. I'll, I'll do my best. Would you like to have a cup of coffee sometime? There's a shop within walking distance, excellent cupcakes and, and bagels. Uh, quiet, no, no drama. Uh, Howard I wouldn't know the difference. What would we talk about? The basics. How's your day going? Mine? Stuff like that? I don't know. How many of your friends are rowing in this same boat as you? None. Nancy has a hair appointment every Friday morning at 10. I, I take her for ice cream every Sunday after lunch. You could, you could visit your husband at those times without interference. Thank you. Does it get any easier? Some. I drink tea. They have that too. <laughs> <laughs>